Uh, fake thoughts in disguise. Yeah, this next one's gonna be. Speaking sick. of things in disguise, we're, we're really drastically shifting gears here, but this is too funny not to talk about. I make jewelry out of semen. Sailors, totally. Mm. Uh, but the process literally stinks. <laughs> Talk damn. about a pearl necklace. I, I love the first sentence of the article. Get a load of this. <laughs> I wonder if she col uh, collected that uh, the hard way. <laughs> That's very, very possible. <laughs> or, you know, she drips it right out of the warehouse. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Clay sculptor and jeweler Amanda Booth revealed last month she makes what she calls jizzy jewelry in 2021 after someone commented on one of her TikToks asking whether she ever considered using man juice in her creations. Uh -huh. After the half-joking post about the request on Facebook, Booth and her husband began receiving actual requests. Who are these six sons of bitches? That's disgusting. I want a cum necklace. Yeah, well, Why? I, I know. <laughs> I don't get it. I think it's just stupid. Hundreds of clients have messaged her asking for special pieces. Well, hang on. So we have now devolved as a civilization <laughs> where people are making jewelry out of spunk. These, you know how fucking that's it's so crazy that is. The leftoids love kids so much, it's not enough to just become maps. they got to caramelize them and wear them around their neck. Well, they already, you know, cut them up in the wound and, wound and sell their uh, their part pieces and parts. Oh, God. Fresh samples are one thing, but when they've been in the mail for a while, I mean, it smells like semen, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. No. That's just <laughs> disgusting. I assume it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't quite be on par as like a, a Pringles can that was delayed in the mail. Not that we would know about that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> It's not with comedy gold, man. It had to happen. I told him I was going to do it. I keep my word, <laughs> man. It looks like clay and cocaine. I don't know. Maybe a combination of both. Uh, it must be dehydrated and powdered and then added to wearable clay beads or trinkets. I would say that's enough of a trinket all by itself. All right. So she, they, they add it to clay beads, right? Yeah. And they have to fire said beads, right? Yes. All right. So that organic mm -hmm. mo molecules that make up that stuff, it... I mean, that's a kiln is like 2,000 degrees. All of the organic matter will be gone. Pretty much. All that's left is a porcelain bead. So it's essentially just kink jewelry. Yeah. More than it's actually you're wearing a, a pearl necklace, if you know what I mean. It's This is nothing more than glorified <laughs> clay beads that have been fired. Oh, porcelain man. beads. The comments have been... Fantastic here. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. What is it? My unborn children. Nice. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's why we're talking about it. Imagine 75 years from now finding a necklace at Goodwill and not knowing it has this in it. Well, it <laughs> won't because it's already cremated out. I mean, literally, it's... it's. Uh, if it's fired in a kiln, I mean, I'm looking at this here, mm -hmm. and it looks like she's just do using the modeling clay, because some mo modeling clay, once it dehydrates can harden and mm -hmm. you don't have to do the, the the kiln firing so all right why, why you gotta take why, you gotta i gotta take, take it away from me man if i wasn't here to fuck with you no one else would be <laughs> just saying. all right king dong eater oh, god damn it <laughs> shut the fuck up so you know if your old lady asks you for a necklace this year this is another place you can go get one <laughs> <laughs> give her a little bit of your love Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box.